Hey all everyone, um, this is Michelle, uh, if you like my video, hit the like button, if you are not a subscriber but want to become one, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. So you gotta pardon me everyone, I am so dang freaking dead tired right now, it's like not even funny. So, to give me time to recover from the, uh, we're, uh, not just working, but walking home, um, I'm actually going to move it up to 10. Um, this will, this will give me plenty of time to, um, chill a couple things that need to be, uh, chilled. And, uh, that way you'll get a good video. So, yeah, so, um, it's going to be 10 o'clock instead of 8. I want to give, uh, what I bought at least, um, about four hours to chill. But once you see what it is, you'll understand. So, my, <clears throat> I want to say my uh, first order from the Ukraine came in. The uh, North statues that I spent over $200 on because of shipping. So, <clears throat> yeah, came in. So, um, in all honesty, I do, I, okay. I don't know how big they are, um, I hope they're not super little, because then that would suck, <laughs> but you never know when you order stuff online. So, uh, if these are the three statues that I ordered, uh, it's according to Etsy, it was delivered, so all three of them were delivered. Um, I'm still waiting on Freya, she should be getting here in the next couple of days. When that happens, um, I will do the video. I also got a couple things from the liquor store that I needed for tonight's ritual and um, I will show you what one of them is. Take it back, I'll show you what they both are. Um, so yeah, so uh, like I said, pardon me if I look like I am tired. I am very, very dead tired. So yeah, so here's the box. Um, so, uh, um, I'm planning on to buy a Loki statue. Uh, sorry, Ashley found out that it's a guy that does the carvings, so I will be ordering a Loki statue from him. Um, next week, I'm getting Loki, Frey, and Odin. So, a little heads up on any, on future, um, videos that I will be doing. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> Dang. <laughs> I will say one thing about the seller. He really packages these boxes real well. Uh, see if I can at least open it. Okay, it opens. Okay, so... Uh, that's that. I'm keeping the box. Okay, so here's the first one. Now, I, I asked for backings for the statues. They're like a loop. Um, I'm going to put these on the wall, not all of them, but I will be putting, um, some of them on the wall. I gotta go out and buy some nails. Um, I don't have nails, uh, that's why my Egyptian prints are not framed, because I don't have nails. Um, I'm thinking about going, um, to, uh... Think about going to Walmart again, probably Saturday, not Saturday, Sunday, to see if I can get some nails. Okay, first one. Okay, so, uh, all right. Ooh. So, uh, okay, so there is the backing right here. 
And this is also in um, plastic. This is so beautiful. So. This is uh, Skulda. You can tell because she's got the bow and she has the wolf. Um, it's definitely not air. <laughs> but, oh my. So let's just see how this she stands. Oh yeah, she stands. Oh, awesome. Oh, this is just beautiful. Look at that. Oh man. Look how nice. Oh, that is so beautiful. This is like the best use of my paycheck. So, <laughs> so yay, Skull Hut came in. Right, so, now it's time for the second one. Once again, wrapped in black. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, so we weren't really busy today. Um, yeah, so we weren't really busy that busy today. Um, but yeah, so uh, when I purchased the three statues, Loki, Frey, Frey and um, Odin. It's going to cost me the same amount that I spent on these statues. Oh, okay. This is the goddess Air. And for people that don't know, um, because of COVID, there's a lot of emphasis now on healing goddesses and healing gods like Asclepios and Hygiena. Uh, there's, um, Sekhmet is really popular, uh, lot, all your healing goddesses and gods are really popular now. So this is the goddess Air, and once again, the backing, this is so beautiful. Look at this, oh, so much freaking detail. Just love this, this is so nice, so, so nice, love it. And then the last one, but um, this sell this guy has like rave reviews about his merchandise, and I can see why. Um, but yeah, and this is my Euro. Um, he's got a, he, ha, he has to have a shrink wrap, uh, you can buy a shrink wrap machine that will shrink wrap stuff. Oh, this is nice. Once again, the backing, and here is Ural. This is just so, so beautiful. Look at his face. His face is so handsome. Love it. Mm. And <laughs> there, he has the skis. Here's the skis. Oh, yes. Oh, so nice. So I'm really glad I spent the money on these statues. They are so, so beautiful. So they're going to go on my uh, Norse altar um, when Frey come, when, when Freya comes in, I'm actually going to replace the picture I have of her with her statue. So anytime I buy a statue that I've got a picture of, or is part of the, um, you know, part of what I temporarily have, it will be, um, replaced. So the next, so the next thing I want to show you guys 
No, that's not it. <clears throat> All right. So, um, okay. So, in um, here in uh, Kentucky, we have um, a place called Liquor Barn, and it's the largest uh, seller of spirits and wines and beer and stuff like that. And because I'm practicing some form of Norse paganism, I wanted to buy mead for tonight. So uh, I went in there and I told the guy, yes, I want to buy some mead. He's like, okay, great. So he takes me over to the international section and I found this. This is called Viking Blood. This is what um, I'm going to actually be serving tonight uh, for the heathen holiday. Um, I do not know what this tastes like. Um, I actually have tried uh, mead. I actually have drunk mead. And it's a very, very... Um, sorry. It is a drink... That is really good. It's just like really, really good. Um, so this is actually from Denmark. And I figured it was from Denmark. I actually didn't need him to tell me. This thing ran me $12.99 for this little bottle of... And the reason for it is apparently in Denmark, it costs a lot to import um, honey. And these meteries pay a lot of money to bring in honey. And because they got to pay an exorbitant amount of money for their honey, their product is pretty expensive if you get it outside of the country. At least that's what the guy told me. So, got this. Um, then... Because I want to make sure that the gods can see what I'm offering them. Now this is actually uh, supposed to be, uh, says got bourbon. <laughs> um, but I got a little uh, shot glass that I can do, you know, I can do that over it and uh, bless the mead. So I got that. So because I don't practice reconstructionism i like to bring some modern offerings to the god what the freaking heck did i just hit oh okay so um i got this um here um and the reason that i got it is because i bought a wine called witch's brew it's supposed to be it's supposed to um have spices in it but I don't have a cork opener to open it, so I had to do it. All right, this is actually the biggest bottle of liquor that I have bought ever. And this is, um, this is Chi Chi's um, Orange Cream. Now for people that do not know what um, Chi Chi's was, Chi Chi's was a Mexican restaurant chain that was really popular in the 90s and early 2000s. They actually went out of business, but their liquor brand actually uh, is still around. They used to sell these things. They used to like mix them together and make like, you know, frozen drinks and stuff like this. Um, this is actually going to be an offering to, um, to Skoldhaw. And to Frey, uh, to Freya, and to Frey, uh, as I said, I do believe in giving modern offerings to the gods because it does come from your heart, and that is the most important place that you can possibly um, do it at. So that is the stuff that either came in for me from for the mail or I bought at the store. I am absolutely exhausted from today and everything um but yeah so um 
until I get a uh, until I get a uh, some nails on Sunday, they're actually going to stand up on my altar and everything. So I'm gonna leave it here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and and I will be back at ten to uh, do the not only is going to be the uh, Odin's uh, Odin's World Prayer Day, but it's also going to be for um for um Frigg and uh I can't even remember his name right now because I'm just so dang freaking um dead tired right now. But once I rest up I got I'm gonna cook um the meal that I'm gonna give as an offering and um so I will see you guys around ten. So until next time, may you be happy, healthy, most importantly be safe and held to the gods. Bye.